Hello, I'm Mitch Postal, president of the San Mateo County Historical Association. I grew up in San Mateo and wrote the city's centennial history in 1994. It is my pleasure to give you a brief glimpse into San Mateo's history by visiting a few of its many historical buildings. But first, let's say a few words about San Mateo's earliest history. This map, drawn up in 1936 by Jerome Hamilton, shows the Indian shell mounds around San Mateo Creek. Note the large concentrations in what we would call downtown today. These mounds go back some 3,000 years and indicate the great stability of the population at this location. Although San Mateo did not have a mission per se, it did have an important agricultural outpost that was crucial to the success of the mission up in San Francisco. Built in 1793, the outpost building stood across El Camino from today's Mills Hospital, north of the creek. Here is a photo from 1947 when locals placed a historic marker where the outpost stood. San Mateo's early American history is linked to transportation. Here is the San Mateo House in 1857, the most famous of the stagecoach roadhouses between San Francisco and San Jose. It stood just north of Mills Hospital, where the parking structure stands today. In 1864, the San Francisco to San Jose Railroad was completed with a stop in San Mateo. The town served as an important hub as passengers often embarked on stagecoaches to get to the farm communities on the coast side. The 1906 earthquake devastated San Mateo. But like many peninsula towns, it and the streetcar line blurred San Franciscans, who became our first middle-class suburbanites. By the 1920s, the popularity of the automobile created a shift in the downtown as businesses moved west from the train tracks to El Camino, pictured here at Central Park in 1934. Perhaps the most important building to move up 3rd Avenue toward the highway was the Benjamin Franklin Hotel. It was built in 1927 for a quarter million dollars. In its heyday during the 20s, 30s, and 1940s, the hotel attracted the elite of California. Hollywood movie stars would take the train up from Los Angeles and stay at the hotel while visiting the racetrack at Bay Meadows. Just across the street at 51 East 3rd Avenue is this building, constructed in 1931 by the Levy Brothers. The family had been running a store in the town since the 1890s. At this site, they continue offering their traditional wide range of goods, including groceries, hardware, dry goods, and toys. The family moved the store to 4th Avenue in the 1950s, but the building remains an excellent example of the Tudor Revival architectural style. Next door to Levy Brothers at 71 East 3rd, was the J.J. Newberry store constructed in 1932. At 94 East 3rd, this building originally housed Noah's Ark, the famous restaurant established by African-American chef Noah Williams in 1923. Williams invested $100,000 into the building. Its decor featured African animals. On the 200 block of 3rd Avenue stands this magnificent structure, the Medical Arts Building. Constructed in 1929, it is a fine example of the Art Deco architectural style. The Merkle Building at 201 South B Street was built in 1931. Designed by architects Edwards and Sherry, this terracotta landmark building for its first 50 years was known as the House of Merkel. Here, German immigrants, Carl and Cunha Merkel, operated a cigar store that also sold ice cream scoops to kids for a nickel. Additionally, it was a place that locals could bet on the horse races at Bay Meadows. At 164 South B Street stands the 1925 San Mateo Bank Building. This Greek Revival institutional appearing structure was designed by architect W.H. Weeks for the Pioneer Wisdom family and was known as the Bank of San Mateo until 1955 when it was acquired by Crocker Bank. Before African-American Noah Williams moved his restaurant to 3rd Avenue in 1923, he operated out of this building at 139 South B Street. 
its construction date is estimated to be about 1900. This Spanish colonial style commercial building at 22 South B Street with Art Deco influence was also built by the Wisdom family. The architects were Edwards and Sherry and reflects their work at the Merkel building which was constructed the same year. The Episcopal Church of St. Matthew was designed by famed architect Willis Polk. The original church, which stood here from 1865 to 1906, was destroyed during the great earthquake of that year. This building was completed in 1910. The downtown San Mateo post office was constructed in the Mission Revival style. The mural inside, Life in Early California, was painted by Thomas Lamon in 1937. Lamon did several murals for the WPA during the Great Depression. The downtown fire station at 120 South Ellsworth was designed by W.H. Tokey and constructed in 1939. It is all that is left of the second City Hall complex which moved to its current location in 1962. Railroad builder Charles Bohemus and later the Cole family owned the land now Central Park. It retains three architectural features from the 19th century. A black, cast iron statue of a dog along the park's panhandle, the old pump house, and the wrought iron fence that graces El Camino Real. The city purchased the property in 1921. The old mansion, demolished many years ago, served as location for San Mateo Junior College, today's College of San Mateo. It's been a pleasure to be able to stroll through historic San Mateo with you today, and I hope that you'll tune in to other uh, walking tours presented by our San Mateo County Historical Association.